Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You're listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Yeah, I watch Papa's mama. Hmm? Where I watch? Papa. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. So it is likely that you would have heard about the killing at the Halfway Tree Police Station yesterday. A lot has already been said, and I don't have any additional information to share. But in February this year, I had a conversation with Dian Singh. Dian Singh is the guy who shot and killed the police in the police station and he himself was also killed. Like I said, in February of this year, I had a conversation with Dian because he told someone that he had run a program on me and I would be killed. At the end of the stories, I'm going to let you hear a part of that conversation as also the reason behind that threat stand by for that so in almost every video i post i carried a report about someone being charged for a sexual offense or sexual offenses some persons would comment and say that sex crimes are getting from bad to worse all of a sudden but no that is not true sex crimes in jamaica have been bad for a very very long time it's just that i am bringing you a fraction of the stories and you know what the truth is i cannot bring all the stories that i am aware of because i have to protect the victims the question is why is successive governments and big organizations paying scant regard to sex crimes in jamaica i will tell you this i know some of the reason you know and you know too because a lot of your colleagues and friends are predators right now there are some predators watching this video and cussing me out but uno can cuss all you want 55 year old donald south offer with an address in the parish of westmoreland he has been charged for the offenses of one rape two buggery three sexual touching and four grievous sexual assault all of those offenses were allegedly committed against a six-year-old girl what did i just say 55 year old donald south he was charged for one rape two buggery three sexual touching and four grievous sexual assault and all of those offenses were allegedly committed against a six-year-old girl on sunday july 14 about three o'clock in the afternoon i am not gonna go into what is being alleged but just use your imagination a 55 year old grandpa and a six year old baby <laughs> boy may i tell you so he'll be going to the courts shortly in this next report this one took place yesterday afternoon monday july 22 almost 5 30. it took place at st clavers avenue in montego bay in the parish of st james we are learning that a guy he was walking along the road when on reaching in the vicinity of the St. Clavers Plaza. A white Toyota Axio motor car with three hoodlums aboard drove up and stopped. We are told that two of the hoodlums in the car, they came out, pulled guns and opened gunfire at the guy who was walking along the road. We are told that the guy, he pulled a gun and returned the fire at the two of them. The two hoodlums, they then jumped back into the Axio and made good their escape along Church Street. 
The other guy, he also ran away, making good his escape. When the shooting subsided, it was observed that a female in her mid-twenties, she was coming from work and she was walking along the roadway. She was shot. She received a gunshot wound to her right leg. A grey Toyota Hiace also received damage to the left passenger door. A grey Toyota Probox also received gunshot damages to the back left panel. The female who was shot, she was rushed to hospital where she was treated and admitted. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, nine 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. In this next report, I carried a story on Friday, December 29, last year. The previous night, Thursday, December 28, about a few minutes to 11 o'clock. A group of persons were at a bar at Ashton District in the Betteltown Police Area in the parish of Westmoreland. While they were there, a white Nissan AD wagon motor car drove up and stopped. Four hoodlums, armed with a rifle and handguns, they came out of the car, went into the bar and took down the patrons demanding money. A 32-year-old farmer named Alfred Buckridge, but he was popularly known as Bog. He lived in the same area. He and another man ran out of the bar. Two of the hoodlums opened gunfire at them. The hoodlums, they then proceeded to rob the bar owner of cash, cigarettes and liquor. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape in the said Nissan AD wagon motor car. It was then realized that Bog and the other man who ran off, they were shot. Bog received gunshot wounds to his upper body and he ended up dying on the spot. While the other man, he received a gunshot wound to his right hand. The police, they have now made a breakthrough in that murder. We are learning that a 23-year-old guy named Jamar Shah, he is living in the Narwood area of St. James. He was recently arrested and charged by the St. James Police after he was found with an illegal gun. Tests were done on that gun and it was found to be the weapon that killed Bog. The police, they carried out further investigations. As a result, Jamar, he was charged for murder, wounded with intent, robbery and other gun related charges so he'll be going to the courts shortly in another update on saturday night april 6 earlier this year about 9 30 that lady on your screen her name is mrs michelle bremer reed she was 44 years old and she lived at brighton district in the little bay area of westmoreland on that night Michelle, she was at her friend's home at Brighton. He is a truck driver popularly known as Bota. They sat on the veranda and they spoke for a while. But apparently, hoodlums were in the dark waiting for the opportune time. After a while, Bota and Michelle, they went on his blue Cabra motorcycle. They were about to ride to another house in the same community. As they were riding out of the yard, hoodlums came from behind the wall at the front gate and opened gunfire at both Bota and Michelle. Both of them fell from the bike and the hoodlums, they then made good their escape on foot in the area. Bota, he received gunshot wounds to his abdomen and Michelle, she received gunshot wounds to the back of her head. Michelle, she ended up dying on the spot. The Westmoreland police, they have now made a breakthrough in that case. Early last week, Wednesday, July 17, about 4 o'clock, the Westmoreland police, they carried out a pre-dawn operation at Brighton District in the parish of Westmoreland. The two suspects who were wanted in connection with the killing of Michelle and the wounding of Bota, they were picked up. They are O'Shea Graham, popularly known as Oshi. 
he is 27 years old and devando barrett also known as spangy he is 19 years old both of them were picked up and they have since been charged by the police for murder and other offenses so they too will be going to the courts shortly the mayhem in this next report we are learning that a guy named Riatan perry but he's popularly known as zugo he's living at claremont district in the parish of hanover some other guys in the area they were always troubling zugo and a body mop one of the guys who was always troubling him his name is bruce palmer but he was popularly known as palmer he was almost 47 years old and he also lived in the same Claremont area. Last night, Monday, July 22, about 9 o'clock, Zugo, he was at Claremont when Palmer went to where he was and started troubling him. We are told that Zugo, he styled up Palmer, but Palmer, he did not take kindly to that. Palmer, he left went to home and come back it is said that palmer he pulled a knife and attacked zogo the knife cut a part of zogo's shirt when palmer turned around zogo realized that he had a gun in his waist we are told that zogo he managed to grab the gun out of palmer's waist and while palmer was attacking him he made one squeeze bam hitting Palmer to the right side of his chest. Zugo, he ran off and Palmer, he fell to the ground. Palmer was rushed to the Noel Holmes Hospital in Lucy and he was later transferred to the Cornwall Regional Hospital in Montego Bay where he died whilst he was being treated. Meanwhile, we are learning that Zugo, he gave himself up to the police in the company of either a pastor or a justice of the peace and i must add this there are some persons who are saying that it was zogo who was armed with the gun that killed palmer we are getting info from credible sources that it was palmer's gun so palmer he was killed with his own gun the mayhem the me so let me ask you something <laughs> Let me ask you know, something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be one of the first to be notified. Now, in this next report, we are learning that a guy was shot and killed at Wharf Road in the Orange Bay area of Hanover about 10.30 this morning. I am working on the details and will be updating this story in a subsequent video. Stand by for that. But in the final report, listen me now. As a YouTuber, yes, putting out a story and getting views is very important because that's how i get paid by youtube but a lot of times i get stories which i have to hold back on and my reason for holding back on some of the stories is not because i am afraid to publish them but sometimes it's in the best interest of the person making the complaint are you following me so in february of this year a lady contacted me about Sings Motors. Sings Motor is or was operated by Dean Singh and his wife Sophia Singh. By now, you should have heard the news that Dean Singh, he was the guy who killed Detective Sergeant Mian in the Halfway Tree Police Station yesterday. There are reports that he turned the gun on himself, and there are reports that another policeman killed him anyway the lady had paid them over two million jamaican dollars for a toyota voxy but she was getting the run around i did an interview with the lady and she sent me all the documents i could have just run the story but i chose not to because it was possible that 
if I run the story and it was already out there. She would not be getting back her money. Are you following me? So what I did was I contacted Sophia Singh and I told her that I interviewed the lady and I was going to be running the story. This was about the fourth time I was contacting Sophia and she paid up on the three previous occasions. So when I contacted Sophia on this occasion, her husband, Dian Singh, he got involved. There was some back and forth, but my main interest was to ensure that the lady got back her money. Dian Singh, he apparently was trying to get someone scared, but it certainly was not this guy. So he told someone that he ran a program on me and I was gonna be killed. So I called Dian and we had a conversation. I am also happy to report that due to my intervention, the lady got back her money about two or three days after the conversation and that was always my intention. Listen to this and I have redacted a few things from the conversation. Listen to this. Hello, morning. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, may I understand, say yo. You say you run a program and where me live and me appear rent and you have people lined up to kill me? Who are you talking? You man, you Mr. Singh. No, I'm not wrong, man. Who are you talking about? No, you are Mr. Yeah, Singh. Uh, no, no, no. So what I say? You don't say nothing like that. You are trying to draw me in a... You are trying to draw me in a... Me understand, say you say... Me understand, say you say you run a program. Are you know where me live? I mean, live in a. You live and and you live. Make it a recording of the hour you say, you know. And you know where me live, and you run a program. You line up man for kill me because I live in a rent house, and the people them living at them, them own their own house. We are now. We are, if you're trying to kill me, you know. So we are now enemies, you know. You must have your No, no, no. We are not brother neither. You're trying to kill me, so we are now enemies. So if you did run a program, you don't know exactly who me is, and know so me not take certain things for joke. Talk now, eh? Yeah, man, I said, yeah, well, yes. Listen to me carefully. We are not bros. We are enemies. Are. Yes. Everywhere. Yes. Regrets. Yes. Tell me tell that, yeah? Do I? Okay. Okay. Everywhere. Is regrets. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. I understand that. Yes. Well, listen to me carefully. Yes. See? Yes. Why you want to bring to me? No, man, you are bringing it. You say I will kill me, man. You say run program for kill me. No, ho, ho. Keep talking. Mm -hmm. Yes. We are not bros. I are talking to people you don't know. You know what you mean? Style up. What do you mean, style up? Big man, you know how much time you get reports about Sing. I mean, me don't have to call, you know. I could have just put out what I put out, you know. I pay the courtesy because you're running a business and I call. And I say, this is that. We no matter if a civil matter, you know, black has no business with that, you know, me no run. If you listen to the black has, they no do it like how me do it, you know. I get a, I get a story, I, I could have just shoot it out. I give you the opportunity to make it right. And you go tell me, tell me, and you go talk. Big man, if you run a program, you don't know who me is, I know, say Papa ain't afraid of nobody. And live in a rent house and no Papa. So when you go talk, you look a foolishness. And about who you know and this and that. You tell the lady, sir. Thursday, man, Friday, man, I'm talk. Mr. Charles, I hear my mommy. The phone's coming on my account on Monday, man, I got it. When you come on my account Monday, Friday, at 3 o'clock, I say, Monday, man, I got it. She say, all right, Mr. Sing. I say, good morning. Man, I talk every single day. She come like my sister. I say, anything you want, come to my feet. And she say, all right, all right, my brother. But good. This man should come with a vibe. Mr. Lady, Mr. said, I say, Monday. She said, all right, Mr. Sing. Well, good. I say, all right, then. Cool. Me don't know where this argument come up for, brother. See? Which so argument? Which, ar argument, which, arg which argument? Which argument? Which argument? We are not brothers, Mr. Sir Singh. We are not brothers. We are enemies. You're trying to kill me, so we are enemies. Yes. Yes. After every war is regrets. Yes. 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 We don't want no regrets. No, man. Mr. Singh, there are going to be regrets because you're trying to kill me. No, yeah. you, there are gonna be regrets because you're threatening to kill me. Mm. You claim so you run a program for kill me. Mm. That's what you are saying. Mm. Yeah, so so there are gonna be regrets. So, so you kill, kill, so kill me then. I, you are the one who threatened me. 
I did not. No, up, up, no, up. You threatened you tre you tre to publish about me. So that is killing. That is killing you. I get a story. That what. That's what. No, that's what. No, plan for the guy. I run my business. Me employ thirty people. I have big man, big man, big man. We not even. Did, you know say. You know say. You know say. You know say. If you know say. If you listen. And a peace me are dealing with. Peace and you are threatened to kill me? Three, how, how, can, how, how can it be peace when you are threatened to kill me? Then how can it be peace when you are threatened to destroy me? Destroy, destroy! You know how much time I get people? I get, you know how much time? You see, you see, all bloggers, you know, all bloggers, you know, them think about the money and not think about the problem. If I, if I was thinking, if I, if I was thinking about that, you think someone would have called your wife? You think I would have called your wife? No, no, if I was thinking about that, you think when the lady called me last week and I did an interview with her, you feel so I would have called your wife if, if that's all I was thinking about? You feel so? And you think so from week, me have the interview for publish. You think, so? man, f you your year, man. <laughs> so, Dian, he said he was going to be running a program on me, but he ran a program on himself. Sad to say, but a policeman was also killed. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye Newslink News and PNL Blog TV. TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Joe. Criminals, they want my show, Jamaica Jamaicans, my show, Jamaica